Hi, I'm Mick Sadler and today it's green screen on a budget. We've obviously got a green screen and the first thing they tell you about green screen is that must be lit on both sides which means you need a light for this side and a light for this side. Um, now we're just making do with one light. Also got white walls and white ceilings so there is a little bit of spill which will uh, even out the background. So the important thing though is to balance this light. This light is only half a meter away from me. Now for any software to key out the green, it really needs to be quite bright and quite even. So this, uh, this setup is finely balanced. If you had a dark wall here, then it wouldn't work so well. But we're getting a bit of reflection now. So if you haven't got a a light wall that side, have a white reflector and reflect some light into that background. Now I use Final Cut Pro so it will handle it quite well and we'll go into the computer and have a look at that. Right we're into uh, the software now, Final Cut Pro. Now, there are a lot of uh, green screen online um, ways you can edit and also most editing programs I think are going to include a green screen. Um, now what I would say is that you should get someone right in the middle so your green screen covers the frame. We haven't done that so we can show you how to uh, how we're going to draw a mask around this. So we're going to go to our um, video things and we've got uh, masks down here somewhere, there's masks, draw mask, I'm going to drag that onto the clip and uh, it's going to say add a point, so I'm going to add a point right at the bottom and we're going to go around the subject like this um, and it's just going to mask all this out. So if you fill the screen, you won't need to do this. Uh, we join this up. Now it's masked that out. We're going to go up here and we're going to feather this a little bit. We're going to give this a little bit of a feather, this mask. Um, so now we're going to go on to keying. We're going to take our key and drag that onto. Uh, and there you go, there's our mask. So all we have to do now is to drag a uh, something underneath the clip, like so, and there we go. Uh, and uh, we've completed our green screen. And so it's not difficult um, as long as you pay attention to a lot of these, a uh, lot of these sort of rules, and you can put any picture behind um, and it doesn't have to be like we've done um, it can be absolutely anything anyway back to the uh, video uh, as you can see all I've got is a green screen I've got a light and a stand I've just got the green screen pop up um, clamped to the top of a light stand and that is all our setup. So the thing with a green screen is you can be anywhere you like. You can dress up and make the background or whatever you like. You can dress up cold and have snow in the background or you can be uh, in the Caribbean. So there's lots of opportunities and um, what I would say is, is try this setup. It is important that we're well, about a metre, three and a half feet away from 
that green screen that does two things. Um, uh, the first thing is that uh, it stops any shadows being cast on the green screen and it also um, stops any spill. So what you could get is, uh, if you're quite close, you'll get a lot of green reflecting onto your subject. So don't do that. The other thing is, don't go outside the area. Because if you go outside the area, it just blocks it off. So I'm going to walk back now and hopefully you can see the spill. I haven't really, I've got a little bit of a shadow, but not a lot. So um, please let us know if you've got any tips or tricks with uh, the green screen and if you use a green screen let us know and you can put that down in the comments also if you want to see uh, every time we upload a video if you hit the bell icon that will uh, inform you when we upload a video um, anyway thanks for staying this long it's only a short video and we'll see you again next time